That's enough. Thank okay. you. But no, no, come up here, please. Buzz um, is uh, 19 years old. Buzz uh, was a federal president, is it? Yes. And uh, he was president of the Victorian this Association for quite a long time as well. Um, he's uh, a terrific inventor. He invented many products. Yes. Uh, one of saved, them is... Made, uh, saved many lives with my security products. I invented a letter bomb detector. Uh, I invented it on a Friday night. By Monday morning, I'd made the first prototype, which worked. And on Tuesday, I got the, uh, a friend to advise the Postmaster General about it. And by the end of the week, I had an order from the Postmaster General for seven letter bomb detectors. I delivered them within three weeks. Made them myself at home, turned the bedroom into a workshop. Good buzz, tell us what happened. I made nearly $2 million clear profit out of selling 800 of them. They've gone all around the world. Um, at every Australian embassy, consulate, trade commission overseas has got one of my handmade letter bomb detectors and I know of nine lives I've saved. Yes. Tell us the story of what happened after you disclosed, you said, well, you've got something great and you had a friend in the Postmaster General's office. Yes. And then somebody came to see you? Yes. Um, the, uh, um, after I rang a friend of mine who was the chief of the Defence Standards Laboratory in Maribyrnong, um, he said, I've got a friend who's a Postmaster General. I'll tell him about your letter bomb detector because uh, it's such a strange device. Uh, and so he rang him up. Within one hour, I had a knock on my front door in Glen Waverley. When I opened the door, a man rushed past me, rushed into my home. And he turned round to me and said, what is your connection to the Black September movement? <laughs> <laughs> that was his first question. So I said, who the bloody hell is they? <laughs> and he produced a security pass from the PMG. The next thing he said was, it seemed pretty strange to us that the week that five letter bombs arrived in Australia addressed to prominent Zionists. Here are you with a device you say will find them. He said, did you tell the Black September movement to send these up to as a marketing tool? Did you? <laughs> So I took him into my spare bedroom, which I converted into a workshop. Hanging around the walls were a lot of metal detectors I'd made for gold prospecting, like an army mine detector for finding gold in the ground. And I actually found a few nuggets. And these were all hanging around the room. And I said, now this one, I took the printed circuit board out which I made in the kitchen sink um, to mount five transistors in a little detector circuit. And I put that into this prototype and I took the back off and showed him and it worked. And so he then produced from his briefcase five litter bombs. The ASIO had put them all, the remains together to find out what was in them and he produced these in my home. Oh. Each one had a detonator and a battery and some wires and a switch thing in it. And my detector found every one. And he said, hmm, that works. Then <laughs> <laughs> I got an order within a week. Um, I, I then, yeah, as I am an instrument maker by trade, I was trained as instrument maker in the Royal Air Force which I joined before the war, and uh, uh, I was able to make, to design them, 
to think of the designs, to manufacture them and make the prototype straight away over the weekend. After that, I got seven companies to manufacture parts for me so I could turn them out en masse. And not have any one person know what... No, you no know. one person, ah. because I came to the Inventors Association and said, what shall I do? One of the men on the committee was Charles Sandercock, who was a patent attorney. He said, don't give this idea to anybody to make for you. He said, give them parts of it to make. And then you do the final assembly of the electronic circuit, which I made myself. I said, and then you've got control of your idea. I never did give the whole design to anybody and I can still make manufacture them now. My latest letter bomb detector is to find um, dirty bombs. Mm -hmm. okay. Who knows what a dirty bomb is? Nuclear it's material. It's got nuclear waste around a bomb yeah. so that when it explodes it sends <coughs> nuclear waste everywhere. I've made the first uh, detector for that. I took it to Canberra to an ASIO conference and showed it there on a conveyor system six feet long. It worked. It would detect not only the metal, the de detonator, the battery, etc., it would also detect the nuclear radiation from a sample which I had uh, going along the, the uh, conveyor belt. The government said, we leave this with us for a few months to evaluate it. Six months later, they rang me up and said, please come and collect your, your conveyor system. So I said, oh, thank you very much. How many are you going to order from me? <laughs> they said, oh, nobody in the world has had a dirty bomb sent to them yet. <laughs> but if we know, if we hear somebody who does, we will know where to come to buy some. <laughs> We still haven't got it. We've got our best. Thank you very much. <laughs>